Hey guys, this is Spartan117GW, and today we're going to be going over the Haley Strategic Incognito Rifle Bag. Now, this bag was designed to be something simple, something discreet, and what I mean discreet is something that's not going to draw a lot of attention. Um, and you know, it's it's one of those things you can travel with, and it's not gonna you know people aren't gonna be looking like oh man that's that's a rifle bag or, or something of that other. It's and it's kind of designed to have that nice kind of subtle but commercialized look, almost something kind of almost like a tennis bag in in a way. Uh, I guess you know I kind of get that kind of aesthetic from the diagonal stripe there. You know, in the, in the military, everyone's always about you know nice orderly kind of you know, uh, nine degree lines and everything. You look at webbing and you look at uh, those types of things. So in tactical gear, you really don't see these kind of angles on there. So in, in a way that kind of helps kind of change the look of the bag as a whole. Um, but it's definitely a really nice size bag. Now, when I originally, um, you know, got the bag, I actually thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger, but it kind of makes sense that it is the size that it is. Now, the dimensions here are about um, 31 inches long, 10 inches tall and uh, about three inches deep uh, but there's definitely a lot of room for um, you know, adjustability in there and you can actually put quite a few different types of rifles in this bag but uh um, and starting out with some of the external features as you can see here this this actual um, I guess you can almost say it's like a pouch it's kind of like an extension of what's inside um, and, and you kind of think of it like almost kind of like a kangaroo but in a way that this will actually when it's unzipped it'll um, expand there we go so as you can see it kind of puffs out a little bit and this is really if you have some like small plates to put in there or if you just have a lot of stuff in there you kind of need that extra room uh, this will give you a little bit of that extra space uh, on the inside I actually have my chest right in here which we'll get to in a minute oh uh, but it's kind of nice that they have that adaptability there and then you can always cinch it back down but overall the external appearance is uh, nice and clean and they also have this these uh, YKK zippers um, on the bag itself um, one thing that's really cool also it's got this nice rubberized uh, grip there so when you're holding the bag it's you know some some companies just have some real simple straps and stuff there but it's kind of nice to have something durable and rubberized there to grip onto now externally on the bag what's really nice it's kept very simple you have one sling here that's stowed with this little velcro flap right here so once it's stowed it has a very nice clean look um, my only suggestion i wish they could uh, could have had was maybe like a uh, little keeper for this because when you're actually wearing this um and especially if you're kind of a small guy like me with this cinched down uh you do have a lot of slack left over i mean it could be simply um you know fixed just a little bit of electrical tape or something like that or you know whatever whatever joe has on hand but it would have been nice to have a, a little keeper for this in case you are running it in a kind of a slung configuration but as you can see you just kind of get everything nice organized flatten it down as much as you can and then when you bring this flap down everything gets stowed and it's almost like it wasn't even there other than the fact that obviously you can see that but it's very very clean and i definitely like that aesthetic about this portion of the bag all right, so let's take a look inside the incognito rifle bag. As you can see, there's quite an amount of space in here. I've seen a lot of different setups. If you look online, you can see like people have done all kinds of crazy different things, setting up different rifles. You can have two rifles in here. You can have one long rifle broken down. Uh, I have more or less kind of the, the standardized setup where you, that you're probably gonna see the most, which one, you know, mid-length carbine or, or, of that sort. And, uh, you know, it's got these, uh, velcro keepers in here that, is, that are going to keep it secure and there's even a couple extras whether you have an, another rifle or you, you have a long rifle broken down or a sidearm. Um, because of the velcro it makes it compatible with a lot of aftermarket stuff such as the D3 expansion or the LBX tactical pouches but there's of course a lot of other things out there as well so it's really limited to your imagination. Um, you know, these things really definitely come in handy whether you have a pistol wedge or something like that or, you know, the, the additional uh, rifle mags uh, or the multi-mission hanger. I personally kind of like this right here because it kind of sits right nice in this little dead, sp uh, dead zone right here and kind of fills in the space but also provides cushion for the other uh, weapons in the, in the gun bag. Uh, what's really, really nice though is this uh, particular pouch right here. Um, it's actually fairly large, this little mesh uh, general purpose pouch and you can see it's plenty big enough for me to have a D3 chest rig in here. Now I did have the expansion system on there and it does fit. It kind of makes the bag a little bit on the fat side, a little bit more than I personally would like. But that's, you know, that's just about 
packing smart. So you know, I'm able to put all the same stuff in the bag, but kind of just by organizing it in a much more efficient manner, it keeps the bag nice and uh, low profile and flat. But I've seen people put jackets in there if you're going to maybe like a um, you know cold weather climate or something. Maybe you can put an Arcteric soft shell in there or something like that. Um, so it's kind of limited to your imagination. Um, what's also great is that they have this uh, dual zipper uh, system here where essentially you can open up the entire bag hastily if you need to in a rush. But right now, obviously, I just kind of have it in the standard configuration where everything's just kind of nice and neat and I've just opened it up. Overall, it's a really nice bag. Uh, it's got a lot of great features and it's it's just, it's simple, but it's to the point and it gives you, you know, so much flexibility in terms of what you can do, how you can organize it. Um, and it's kind of like, in a way, it's, it's like that bag that you've kind of always wanted, but you never had, but it's great because it's finally here. Um, and you know, it's, it's priced uh, pretty competitively at uh, 170 bucks, uh, which is for some users might be a little bit on the high side, but for guys who pay, tend to pay a lot for gear, it's actually, it's a pretty good price for what you're getting. And if you're curious about what the material is, it's all a thousand D Cordura. So this bag is going to last, it is going to take a beating and I've used it at quite a few games and um, just be, between the size profile and you know the durability of the bag, you know, you know when you're packing your car, you gotta kind of save space somewhere. So it's uh, really nice that this thing will fit just about anywhere, and the size of it is definitely a plus. So make sure you guys check it out. Haley Strategic Incognito Rifle Bag, definitely a really great buy, especially if you love gray, because everybody knows I love gray. Uh, but the, just the pure utility of it, you're gonna get a lot of good use. So make sure you guys check it out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Spartan 117 GW, and I'm here with Solera. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe too. Spartan 117 GW. And make sure you guys check it out. Thanks for watching. Elite Force BBs. That's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.